What up, you two? Big Lou, Big Louise Coach Review, back here with another review, and today we're here to do a little review on the overpowered mechanical tube mods. That's right. We've got two mechanical tube mods that we're going to be doing a review today on. They're both in stacked formation, but they can both be utilized in single battery formation as well. Uh, these are pretty wide, these mechanical tube mods. I believe they're measuring in roughly about 30 millimeters in diameter. But currently I'm rocking a Death Trap RDA up top and it's fitting really nicely up top of the pure copper version of the stacked overpowered mod. And I've also got the Elite version 2, which is a 28.5 millimeter in diameter RDA. And I'm rocking coils by J boy coils that's right now these are ohming out at 0.35 ohms and this one is ohming out at 0 0.40 ohms so i'm roughly in the same ohmage area but this is a single coil this is a dual coil so i like to switch it up from time to time and believe it or not i love using these mech mods in single battery formation which is nice because originally when i picked up the pure copper the pure copper i picked it up in a single battery um, for 150 bucks you could pick up the bottom portion of this tube in pure copper and then you could pick up the additional stack tube for an additional 50 bucks so 200 $200 in total for this mechanical tube mod. And on this mechanical tube mod, I picked up in a kit and it's running at 250 bucks for the kit, which you could use in single battery mode or in stacked formation mode as well. What's really nice about this is this is pure copper with a nice Rhino truck bed coating on it. And this one is just pure copper. So if you're looking for a stacked mechanical tube mod in super shiny copper, well, guess what? This is the way to go. So right now I'm rocking this in dual stacked formation, but I really gotta honestly say, you know, these are great stacked mods and they utilize 21700 batteries. But if in the event you're the type of person that doesn't like stacked batteries, I gotta say single battery mode on these mechanical tube mods work really good. And the battery life lasts all day long, especially in single battery mode. So if you're the type of person who wants to rock a single battery, then by all means do so because it does have a long lasting battery. 21700 batteries, the ones that I've gotten here are the VRK batteries. The VRKs, these are 4,000 milliamp per hour and they're rated at a 40 amp discharge and 20 amp continuous, okay? So that's what the battery says. I don't know if that's true. I'm not a battery expert. I know I've tested these batteries. I put very low ohm builds on these batteries and they work fine. They don't heat up on me. They didn't explode, they didn't vent. So I did a great job in testing them out. If you want a better explanation on whether or not these batteries are safe or great or they're true to their amp ratings and so forth and i advise you go check out battery mooch and see if he did a test on these vrk batteries to see if they're safe and usable within the vaping industry but so far for me they're they've been fine i have no problems with them at all so they've been working really really well I gotta say, this mechanical tube mod, I really love carrying it around because there's no patina that's gonna run off on my hands. And with the Elite version 2 RDA sitting up top, it does look really fucking cool. I gotta say, it really does. And it feels great in the hands. It doesn't slip around in your hands. Neither does this one. This uh, pure copper, even though it's shiny and it's polished and so forth, it doesn't slide around in my hands. Believe it or not, this has got a great switch on it. This has got a dead man switch on it, which this switch is actually different from this switch slightly, but they're both clutch styled switches, which all started off and i gotta give props to sub ohm innovations they started off this clutch styled switch so props to sub ohm innovations for coming out with the clutch style switch and then later being borrowed by bj box mods with the broadside mechanical tube mod and then following after that the 2700 battery wielding 
Admiral, okay? Now they got a really nice RDA as well that goes with this. They call it the Revenge RDA. You can pick it up on um, overpoweredmodco.com. I'll put the uh, link in the description for where you can pick it up. But honestly, I mean, I really gotta say, I mean, as far as these mechanical tube mods go, if you wanna pick them up in single battery mode, I highly, highly suggest single battery mode on these 30 millimeter uh, monsters are pretty much the way to go in single battery. Stack formation is for all the stack junkies out there. So 50 bucks more or $55 more for this stack tube you would actually enjoy these as well. Now they're pin styled mechanical tube mods. They're not hybrid. And I like that because, you know, if you want to utilize, let's say a Sherman tank on top of here in series mode, you can do that. This way you don't have to drip all day. You could throw your Sherman up there. You could throw your Mod Father RTA on there. You could put whatever you want up top in a tank version and it'll perform as well all day, you know, so it's not that bad. Uh, now, some people don't like stack mods because they're too long or they're too heavy, but you know me, I like heavy and I like interesting switches. And these both have dead man switches on them. This one, very, very slight, very tiny, tiny throw in the switch. This one, just a little longer, but still very small. So they, they did a great job on these mechanical tube mods, so I highly commend them. This one has got the version one clutch switch. This has got the version two clutch switch, and I'll show you that in the up close portion of this video. And that's it. So let's dive up close. Let's check out these mechanical tube mods, and let's go from there. So this is the packaging that the two mechanical tube mod pieces come in. Now these are two separate pieces. You could pick up the single 21700 pure copper mechanical tube mod for 150 bucks and then you can pick up the stack section to put up top and that'll cost you $50 so $200 in total for a 21700 pure copper mechanical tube mod and just keep in mind these mods have the clutch system which is like the sub ohm shorty which is like the broadside mod which is like the admiral mod it, it they utilize the same styled uh clutch system but they just make it a little different now this one the pure copper has got a pure dead man switch and what i mean by that you literally touch the button a hair and it will fire and that is my kind of device now looking at the boxes and the contents that are within when you buy the stack section it's going to give you this extra battery here and i have the stacked top portion um it's just going to be the tube and not the 510 piece up top because the 510 piece up top will come with your single 21700 mechanical tube mod. The stacked section is only going to be the stacked top piece and that's it. But the top 510 only comes with the mechanical tube mod as is. But it's nice to give you the tube as well as this battery right here, which is actually really nice to see the battery in there. Uh, VRK seems to be a battery company that they utilize and they sell all VRK products. I'm not sure if they own this company or not. They sell battery chargers, digital ones and trickle ones. They sell all different types of chargers. I believe it's four in total and they're pretty cheap to battery chargers. And if you're looking for a good source of 21,700 batteries, these seem to have a good output. Um, these batteries are a uh they are rated at basically 4000 milliamp per hour with a 40 amp max discharge and a 20 amp continuous and they're 3.7 volts now what are my opinions on this battery well i haven't had a hot battery or anything like that i've pushed the limits of these batteries and they tested really well with me i'm not sure what the battery mooch has to say about these batteries i'm sure he'll have some sort of technical uh, technical type of test that he's done or eventually he'll do a test on these batteries I'm not sure if he did it or not uh, if he has then one of the subscribers please put a link in the comments down below so people can check out the rating of these batteries based on battery mooch's findings if it exists okay now uh, the top portion is there which is cool and then here's my single bottom portion right here which I have serial number 100 
Now, what I think is cool, they include this little card for people. Um, you know, it, it's there to protect their own asses, but at the same time, it's nice to have these cards in here to forewarn people so they know what kind of product they picked up. Some people that are used to regulated devices that have short circuit protection or, you know, uh, warn you about reverse batteries or short circuits or this or that or whatever. Those people who are used to those devices, you know, may never have gone the route of mechanical tube mods before and may not be that experienced in utilizing or using mechanical tube mods. So having this card in here, I really feel it will give people a wake up call in knowing that they did not buy a toy. Okay, this card says mechanical mods are not regulated and therefore include no short circuit protection for the battery other than ventilation, if ventilation exists in the design of this device. When using mechanical mods, please be sure that you know the dangers of not having short circuit protection. Lithium batteries can be volatile and vent or explode, causing injury and damage to property. This can happen if the batteries are not handled properly, if the resistance level of your coils is too low, or in the event of a short circuit. For all mechanical mods, we recommend the use of a short fuse to shut down the battery from an external short circuit. We recommend using an ohm reader to check your coils before you start vaping with a mechanical mod to ensure that you're vaping at a safe resistance level. By purchasing and using any mechanical device or lithium battery from our store, you agree to take full liability and responsibility for its use. In no way can Overpowered Mod Co. or its operators be held liable for any misuse or harm caused by the misuse of this device. Now they're basically putting it out there. Listen, you have to know your shit if you're using mechanical tube mods. You have to know your Ohm's law. You have to know what kind of build you could put on a battery and so forth. Sometimes some people push the limits, i.e. myself, uh, on batteries just to test the batteries and so forth. And that's just me testing them. But on a daily basis, I know where to push the limits of how much you know, damage I can do to a battery. I am in fact damaging batteries as I'm using my devices on a daily basis, but that's because I'm somewhat of a mech professional. So I kind of know what the hell I'm doing. Although most people will try to disagree with that statement, but uh, all in all, yeah, just don't do what I do. Just listen to what I say, be careful, know your Ohm's law, know the type of device you're using and you know, just have respect for the batteries and the device that's held in your hand. Because keep in mind, every time you take a drag, you're hitting that button on your mechanical tube mod. It can be unsafe if you put the wrong build on the wrong batteries. Let's say you bought some cheap Chinese batteries, you have no idea what the hell they are, but you stick them in there and you vape. You can short circuit and go into thermal runaway and that's not what you wanna do. So please be careful in using batteries and knowing your Ohm's law and using mechanical tube mods. Just use good discretion, use common sense. Now, uh, the mechanical tube mod, mine came with this little chamois cloth, which I have yet to actually use, but it does say Overpowered Mod Co. with their overpoweredmodco.com web address on a chamois. Uh, they've included this 21700 battery as well. And now let's check out the mechanical tube mod itself. Now, when you buy this mechanical tube mod in a single form, it's going to look like this. It's a 21700. I have serial number 0100. It has a nice deep engra engraving to where it says overpowered. I like the logo, I like the power symbol there. I like the short circuit or the W looks like a circuit or current. So I thought that was kind of cool what they did in their logo. And it's a very shiny, shiny, pure copper mech tube now this is a pin style this does not have a hybrid top so understand it's not doing direct battery connect like most rdas that connect in a hybrid style you know some people might use tanks or rdas or rtas on these mech mods and you can get away with using them because this has a pin style and i think that's actually pretty cool uh, this, just keep in mind, this one also that I picked up is the version one, okay? There is a version two out now with the three-point contact in the switch, 
okay down in the switch below there is a three-point contact on the newer versions this is version one of the pure copper so i have three points of contact but yet it's a full circumference uh, contact which i actually dig uh, down in the delrin button area it says overpowered uh, you know, obviously their logo and there's four points of uh, ventilation here surrounding the Delrin itself. So there's four little notches in the Delrin button for ventilation. If we are to remove the clutch cap, very nice threading on the copper itself. So we have very good threading on the copper right there. So that's very good threading. And then we expose our clutch button design held by a single fat O-ring, which is pretty cool. This is silver plated pure copper, this clutch. Very, very nice, very nicely done. Uh, three slices of the pie, basically. When you apply pressure to your button, the button will push on the contact, split it into three pieces and make full circumference contact all around the tube of the mech mod. So it's gonna make full contact in a 360 formation. Now in the new switches, they still have a three point contact, but not full circumferal uh, contact. And this contact is removable. If you do use a flathead screwdriver, you will remove that center silver plated copper contact in the center. And we do have ample venting in the Delrin surrounding that center point contact. And if you flip it and we look inside, very nice threading, by the way, they did a good job on the threading. If you look inside, you can see the points of contact down in the center and then the surrounding Delrin, which is ventilated. And if you notice, it is pretty much dark and black on the inside of the tube. That's because they put Delrin insulation on the inside of the tube. So if in the event your batteries are unwrapping or scratched or torn, then your battery will remain safe in this mechanical tube mod. Now looking at the top 510, it is solid hunk of copper basically, uh, Delrin at the bottom portion and a reverse threaded silver plated copper contact. This is reverse threaded, so clockwise unscrews it, counterclockwise raises it, so it tightens it up. So it is reverse threaded and it's something I dig because this way after you adjust your battery height adjustment, once you screw on your top cap, it's not going to put a dent into your battery. Once this, this contact makes contact with your battery top, it's not going to push in your battery top. It's just as you thread this in, it's going to grab hold of your battery top and also adjust for the height. So I think that's pretty cool. So you never have any battery rattle. So it's a very nicely done contact and they did an excellent job on it. Putting this mod into a stacked formation is really quite simple. Uh, but when, before you do, you want to drop your batteries in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop my batteries in positive towards the switch. Now, it should look something like this, basically, when you put your batteries in. Because the positive will have to follow the negative to make it a series device. You can't have this be a negative can't have this be a negative and that be a negative because that's no good, okay? The positives have to flow in the same direction, meaning this has to be like that. So if your point of, if your point of ventilation is going to be in your switch, you want the positive of your battery facing the switch. And then once again, you want the positive end of your other battery facing the negative portion of this battery. This way when you screw these bad boys in together, you know they're going in the same direction. And that's how she looks when she's stacked. Beautiful, beautiful. The pure copper is just beautiful. The only problem you have with this device is maintaining the copper. It does have a tendency to patina, but like I said, my positives on my batteries are facing my switch. So I know I'm gonna have excellent contact. Now, keep in mind this 510 Connect is actually a floating contact. So after you adjust for battery height rattle, always keep in mind, once you screw your RDA on there, it has to actually meet the same uh, height and to make it flush. So it's, it takes a little tweaking to do that. And I'm going to show you right now. So this is what you got to do to basically get your um, 
RDA to sit flush on top of your 510 connection and still adjust your battery height for battery rattle. Uh, like I said, there's a floating pin. So when you screw this in, it's going to push out this contact on the bottom. Okay. So today we're going to be demonstrating with the death trap by death wish mods. This is a single coil 30 milli millimeter demon. Okay. This is actually one demon of an RDA. Now you notice when I screwed that in, it pushed out my contact. Okay. That means the 510 of the RDA had pushed out my floating pin on the contact itself. And now I just need to adjust for battery rattle. So I'm just going to go uh, counterclockwise for now to bring it in. And even when it's screwed all the way in like that, you'll notice that the contact is still pushed out from the Delrin. So if we were to screw this in, tiny bit of battery rattle. So now I just got to do this. Got to back out my 510 top. And then reverse thread just a bit. Now you can see there's too much gap there. So let's back it out again. And clockwise backs it out. Counterclockwise brings it back to the top. Okay. No battery rattle. You can see I've got a single coil in here and it's made of uh, 18 gauge wire. This is 18 gauge low resistant wire. I got it wrapped around a five millimeter uh, screwdriver on a death trap. It works really nice. Now this is the second set of uh overpowered mod that i have in a stacked formation this kit will run you 250 bucks okay now if you decide to get the single tube of this version it's going to cost you about 175 bucks and if you decide to get the stack tube for it as well it's going to be 55 dollars so i've got the total kit all together which comes with the bottom portion tube and i have the stacked version as well with the 510 connection on the stacked but like i said if you do buy this in single battery mode you'll get the 510 connection with the tube now uh this comes with 18650 adapters so if you're going to be using an 18650 battery you can still use it in stacked formation or single battery formation with an 18650 and they were nice enough to include two 21700 batteries these are the vrk batteries like i said before 40 amp uh max discharge continuous 20 and 4,000 milliamp per hour. I do know they work really well and I've tested them very well on my end and I have no issues with these batteries. Now, once again, like I said, we could wait for Battery Mooch to tell us what to do with these batteries, if they're good or if they're not. Uh, but for the most part, they're the same exact mechanical tube mods. You have the top portion, you have the bottom portion, you have a contact with a floating pin at the 510 connect. You have a silver plated copper contact down below with ample venting. Uh, I believe the venting on this one, they did make it a little bit bigger, the holes surrounding the Delrin. So if we look through, so looking through, I believe you'll see maybe there's a difference between those holes. They do look a little bit bigger than the predecessor version one. So maybe they made the holes a little bit bigger on the venting. And the black coating on here is like a rhino coating. It's almost like truck bedding. It's very rough, but it's, it's still kind of smooth, but it has a rough texture to it. And you can see that I have serial number 50 on this mechanical tube mod. It is solid pure copper, and it does have a Delrin lined insulator inside the tube. Now, what I wanted to show you was up close on the switch, okay? Because they do have a different switch from the pure copper now the pure copper has in circumference you have the silver plated switch that makes contact in full circumference around the mechanical tube mod but on this one 
you're going to have three points of contact, but not full circumferential uh, contact, okay? Looking at the silver plated contact, you'll notice there's three notches of contact, which will line up with the Delrin. There are three notches in the Delrin as well, where this contact will make contact with the tube and surrounding it is the Delrin for safety as well. So once you insert your contact and you have your button and clutch system set up, you basically push down on a button and the clutch will make contact with the wall of the mech tube. And the give on it, the throw, is just a little longer than the version one pure copper, okay? So it's just a little longer on this one versus the pure copper version one. Now this is our beauty ring at the bottom of the switch area. You do have an option and choice of purchasing, you know, if you want brass or copper to give it different accents, you could do that. Threads are beautiful, very nicely done. A little seam there, but not a big deal. Putting this in stack formation is just as easy as it was before. All you got to do is if you want to make life easier, you can connect your two tubes together. Still feel the seam over there, but it's not that big of a deal because what you're buying and what you got here is actually an awesome mod. And uh, like I said, I like operating this with the positive end going towards the switch. So both ends of my battery, which are positive, are going towards the switch. going to screw on my Elite version 2, then adjust the height for battery rattle, today I'm rocking coils by J-Boy Coils, I believe this guy's out of Florida, these are Nichrome 80 series aliens, they are 30 gauge wrapped in 38 gauge, seven wraps around a three millimeter, and they're ohming out at 0.35 ohms. I'm gonna be using the Elite version two by Armageddon Manufacturing. This is a 28.5 millimeter in diameter RDA. Down below, you'll notice I have my J-Boy coils already cottoned up and ready to go. That's a look up close right there. Pretty nice RDA. Very nice coils, cottoned and wicked. Coils were heated and prepped. Good to go on this bad boy. Got a little strawberry crunch here from Tailored House. This fucking juice is incredible. Trust me, once you drip it once, you're gonna drip it five million times. You're never gonna get tired of this e-liquid. I've been vaping on it for a full year and I have not put it down. And just one last thing guys, if you guys are interested in looking for a 21700 or 2700 or 18650 battery charger or whatever the case may be, if you're looking for a charger to fit these type of batteries, they sell on their site the VRK. I picked up the X4 Pro. It's uh, This is the wall plug version. So they, uh, they basically, it's a house plug. Some chargers today come with car charge plugs like cigarette lighter plugs or you know 110 plugs for your vehicle. Uh, this one, when I got it, I simply just got it with the wall plug version. Uh, this was pretty cheap, this battery charger. So if anybody's in the market for looking for the battery charger that, you know, uh, that best suits or fits their needs, basically, um, they do have a digital one that goes for $34.99 with a digital display. It's going to display all your different um, uh, voltages and so forth. They have a two battery one with a digital display. It's the X2. And the X2 is running for $24.99. And they also have this one here, which costed $28.99. And it's the VRK X4 Pro Charger. Okay. So there you have it, folks. 
This mechanical two bod is by far my most favorite, as well as this, but I think they perform outstanding in single battery mode. That's just my opinion. They work amazing in stacked mode as well, and I really do dig the weight. But for the type of builds that I've been using on my RDAs lately, I'm gonna throw in a nice super sub-ohm build in this Elite version too, and rock this mechanical two mod in single battery formation. And I guarantee all day long, it's gonna be an amazing vape for me. So from me to YouTube, peace out. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'm out of here. Laters.